What is up YouTube? Today we're making a video on how to back up the trailer in your driveway. La Rubia Sands asked, Hello, please could you please upload a video explaining how to park your boat in a driveway? Thank you. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, come on over. So basically right now, the reason I like coming up on the right side of the road and backing up towards your right on the passenger side is for two main reasons. One, you're on the right side of the road, so if any cars coming up, they can pass you because they're not all angry and everything. You're not crossing over the entire road. The second reason is the blind spot over here, I can reach out and actually look and make sure if there's like a little curb or a rock or something, I can check and make sure I'm not hitting anything over here. If I'm doing it on the other side, that blind spot is over there and I won't be able to see it. So my blind spot, which is the passenger side, I've got my mirror and I can look at my boat or trailer the entire time with the mirror because it's crossing over and it's super clear. And then my blind side is over here and I can just look out uh, with, you know, reaching out so that's why I like going on the right side and then just slowly start and do a 90 degree turn and we'll finish uh, parking it on the driveway here let me pause the video for one second here I just want to clarify one more thing so here's your driveway you've got this is what we were doing initially so we pulled forward and here's the driver you come back and look you can see this entire area with your mirrors and then over here you can look over and basically see all of this area with just sticking your head out the window the problem with this is you can look at your mirror and see all of this but now this is your blind spot of your truck right here and especially if you're getting into tighter areas where it's just a one lane road on like a campground or at a boat ramp or something like that this is a pretty dangerous area and you might miss a rock or the edge of the road or something like that so I like being able to see both sides of my truck when I'm driving in reverse so I think pulling in your driveway or pulling in to a parking spot or something like that it's the be best way to have your trailer go towards your passenger seat so you can actually see all the way from your mirror you can see right here and then also with this one, you can go all the way your blind spot over here with your uh, mirror or just look out and see with your own eyes. This side, I just feel like you get a little bit more blind spot over here, which I don't like when you're pulling in your driveway. And you're also going towards the opposite direction of traffic, which cars don't like. So you can just come down the road, stop, and then just make sure you stop straight and then turn your wheel towards the right if you have your hand at the bottom of the steering wheel and then just back up straight and you should be set all right let's continue Now I got it parked, people can pass over. We put it in the actual uh, garage, so we're good there. Uh, we're just gonna pull it all the way in. But pretty simple, just put it, make sure your truck and trailer are on the right side of the road, have everything straight. And then you can put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel, move it to the right, and then your trailer just slowly cuts into the driveway. And then once you're kind of 90 and straight up, you can park it and you're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Feel free to ask if you want me to make any more videos. And we'll see you next time.